So a few weeks ago, Unity invited us to GDC. To those of you who don't know, GDC stands for Game Developer Conference. In fact, it's the largest event for game developers in the world. So you can imagine we were pretty excited when Unity wanted to fly us all the way to San Francisco to take part in this event. Now we live in Copenhagen, so come travel day we had a pretty long flight ahead of us. But still, we were full of excitement and comfortable as ever. And we didn't have to wait long before the fun started. Just looking out the window on the way there made the journey worth it. We really got lucky with some amazing views. After a good night's sleep on Andreas' shoulder, we arrived in San Francisco. But first, customs. When we got to the hotel, we were pretty tired and beyond ready to go to bed. The next day is when the event kicked off. But before we get into it, this video is sponsored by Jason Wyman. Jason has made an amazing Unity 3D masterclass, which takes you all the way from the very fundamentals of game dev to using Unity on a professional level. In fact, we talked about this in a video a few weeks back and we've gotten such a positive response that we decided to extend the offer for you guys. The class will teach you the principles of solid code architecture and you will get familiar with packages like Cinemachine, Timeline and Pro Builder. What makes this course unique is that you get to work along with other students and get live one-on-one -on -one help from Jason himself. He also has an amazing VR course and at the end you will have made multiple finished games and have the opportunity to customize and show off your unique work to the class. With the last offer we did, we gave away free bracky shirts for the first 50 people. For this one, we decided to one-up ourselves and give away any shirt from Line of Code, so you can choose for yourself which one you want. You also get a big discount and other bonuses on both courses. Simply click the link in the description and get started. So after we woke up, we went straight to the Unity office and one of the first happy faces to greet us was Sam. We got a quick tour around the office and after that we were off to collect our GDC badges. And this was the first time we really felt that GDC was starting to take over San Francisco. You could almost hear the city humming with game devs. It's a really fun thing to be a part of because no matter where you look there are people wearing badges and you know that you have something in common. And when I say that there are developers everywhere in the city, I mean everywhere. Unity was kind enough to provide us with exhibitor passes, which meant that we could visit the expo floor when they were still building it. At this point, it was hard to believe that there would be a GDC this year. After that, we walked to the place where the Unity keynote was supposed to take place. When we got there, people were still setting everything up and we got taken to the production room backstage. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to film in there, but I can promise you that there was a lot of really cool looking equipment. Like, a lot, a lot. At this point, Liz and Will were getting ready for the pre-show, and fortunately, we were then good time to sort out all of the technical issues you will always experience when setting up with other people's equipment. And then, the show happened. We won't go too much into the keynote here, because we are planning on doing a separate video on all the features that got talked about during the conference, so stay tuned for that. Now after the keynote, we went out to meet some of the people gathered outside, and then it was time for dinner. Here we also got to meet Jabrils, who, in case you don't already know him, is just an amazing creator that I highly recommend you check out. We got to spend a lot of time together with him and his lovely girlfriend during the week. And I think this is actually the best thing about GDC. Of course some people go there for the talks, the meetings or the booths, but personally I think what makes it worthwhile for me is that beside all of this you get the chance to meet people from all around the world who share a common interest. Of course you learn more about game development, but it's also a great way to just put work stuff aside and talk about hobbies, different cultures, or just have fun. After a while it kind of starts to feel like one big high school reunion. Now the next day we held a meet and greet in the park just outside one of the conference buildings. And beside having to run through the city with boxes of pizza and being late for our own meet and greet, thanks pizza place, it was so much fun. And great to get to meet all of you. Thanks to all the people who showed up and for all the amazing things you had to share. Now after doing a quick interview for Unity, which we had a little trouble finding since it was in the spare room of a dental office, we had some extra time and took the opportunity to visit the Skyline Bar at the top of our hotel. And man does beer taste better with a view like that. After that we went to a dinner with some people from Unity and a bunch of creators. Here we got to meet Thomas Brush, who other than being a really nice guy also makes some great educational videos that I definitely recommend you check out. Now day 3 was insane. We got up early to do a roundtable meeting on dots, we then had a bunch of meetings around the conference and finally it was time to check out the expo. And holy wow was it fun this year. Actually, I think it deserves a montage. <laughs> Thank you. 
Unity also had a massive booth with demos, a bar, a place to get custom shirts and a stage for presentations. Here we saw the Unity roadmap talk, which again, we'll talk more about soon. I think one of the really cool parts of the expo was Alt Control GDC, where a bunch of university students showed off games designed with unique and different controllers. For example, I quickly found myself shoveling coal and pulling levers to keep a train on track. After some intense hours at the expo, we wanted to wind down a bit and went to the docks to get some food before we had a user group later that evening. At this point, we thought that we had time to enjoy a good meal on a good restaurant with a nice view, but ended up having to quickly swallow our food and run off to get a cab. So if you ever go to GDC, make reservations and be ready to have your time schedule thrown out the window and do a lot of cardio. Just like this guy who tried to catch up with the cable card we wrote the next day. With that, we had completed all the official events we had to attend and went out for drinks with Jabil and his girlfriend Rita May. We went to this really cool mixer at a nightclub where they'd set up a bunch of gaming stations. And here we discovered our favorite game from the whole conference, King of the Hat. An incredibly fun, fast-paced, hat-based multiplayer hat-fighting game. Big shout out to the developers for making such a fun and easy to pick up game. It was an amazing way to wrap up a crazy day and other than the tiny bit of sightseeing we managed to slip in before our plane the next day, that was pretty much it for our GDC this year. Overall, GDC is just so much fun and you get to meet so many like-minded people. So if you ever get a chance to go, I highly recommend it. Thanks a lot to Unity for inviting us to the event and special thanks to Elena for being an absolute champ arranging everything and making our stay so comfortable. Also make sure to check out Jason's classes, simply click the link in the description to get a free shirt and a discount. On that, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome Patreon supporters who donated in February, and a special thanks to James P, Jack Dubert, Andrew Kalenko, John Shannon, Infinity PPR, Cyborg Mummy, Dennis Sullivan, Travis Dillon, Faisal Marify, Leo Lissette, Runin, Clinton Fenskiwa, Chris, Mechanical Mind, Frank Solong, Carsten Suerland, Gregory Pierce, Kill Swedeski, Rob Fairn, Timmer Folderbach, Erasmus, and Naoki Wasaki. You guys rock!